Something with the drain. Looks like they're putting in a new drain. Oh, there's a stork down there. Or is that a crane? There's a crane. <laughs> that my video so far has just been a bunch of random ass clips but like it is what it is I've been so busy when I got back from the hotel with work and work drama and band drama and you know how 2020 is like I don't even need to explain it just saying um I'm getting ready for work right now I know my eyes look crazy you're like girl what the what are you doing with yourself right now like with your makeup but like I'm doing, I'm working on that fall makeup. You know, like fall is not my favorite season. I'm such a summer lover, but like I'm trying so hard to do this living in the moment thing now that I never really do. I'm always like, I gotta do this and this because then this in the future, then this in the future. And then when the future gets here, I'm living still in the future of, of like, how can I better? What can I do? How can I do this? Why isn't this working? And it's just, I think I just, bring on my own anxiety. I am my own worst person for doing that to myself and I have discovered that in the last month or two. Uh, so <laughs> I am just trying to chill out and I think I will like other things a lot better when I chill out and I just enjoy them. So if I look crazy, well then I look crazy. I'm just trying to, trying to enjoy my life. Uh, speaking of enjoying life, I know that some of you who watch this are Stevie fans, so I'm gonna go into it. Um, did you all, and I know you're gonna say yes, because I know you know, did you guys see the news? <gasps> How excited are you? Because I am, oh my god, Stevie is releasing stuff. I'm like way over the top right now, but like, can't help it. Cannot help that. She is gonna be doing some... Releasing stuff to movie theater and select drive-ins. God, I hope I don't have to go all the way to Columbus. Because I tell you what, and in your dreams, uh, my friend, luckily her parents are like the best. They're like my uh, other adopted parents. I'm so lucky to have so many adopted parents in my life. Um, my concert parents, as I call them, uh, took my good friend and I all the way to Columbus to see in your dreams and then the next day I mean that same night after the movie she didn't show up and we were like oh we really wanted her to be here because we were in the front row and we were like oh, we're just gonna stay here and listen to all these answers for all these people who had questions and she didn't which is weird because they had a show the next day but I'm getting to that um, and then they drove us all the way home you know like an hour and a half two hours and then the next day drove our butts back which we should have just gotten a hotel or something drove our buds back to go see her on floor seats hello that was like the best day um in concert with Fleetwood Mac so that was that was some day that was just like it felt like a whole I blinked and it was done and it was just amazing and like you know I didn't get to go see the 24 karat gold tour to be honest with you I was broke as a joke back then um, still at times, but less than, um, <laughs> so I'm hoping, you know, that I will get to go to this, and then it will not be all the way in Columbus, you know, like, maybe Dayton would be great, Cincinnati, because I live kind of almost smack dab between the two, just about. I think I'm liking my fall leaf eyes today, I need some more yellow right here, but yeah. Trying to dig in it. Anyway, now that that vain moment's over, uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So, I'm excited. I know you're excited. More on that later. I gotta get ready for work. Oh my god. Wearing a mask while you're trying to clean you of asthma sucks. 
This sucks a lot. My face is all red. <laughs> Phew, oh my God. Today was like annoying. Like Merlot got spilled all over my pants, my shoes, the floor. At the same time, the CO2 tanks went out and the stuff wasn't coming right. And people were like, did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? And I'm like, I'm looking forward to next week when I have fun stuff to do. But on a happy note, they gave us these cups, which is so dope. I love it. If you didn't know what my real name was, now you do. Turn it. Oh my god. Morning, you guys. Um, it's Friday, which is my Monday. I was just off yesterday. Um, up cooking. It's actually 1.38 and I have to get ready for work soon. I'm really not in the mood. My friend died of cancer last night. And, uh, let me just tell you how sad I am today. Like, just, yeah. It's just one of those days. So I haven't put out a video and I haven't filmed in probably over a week. My last segment, I don't even remember when that was, to be honest. Um, I debated on coming on here and even taping myself talking about my life right now. To be honest, I, I just... <sighs> COVID is causing a lot of issues. Um, you know, music is, it's always dramatic, always, no matter who you are, it's always going to be like that. If you're a musician and you watch my channel, you know that. Um, and sometimes people make your life difficult selfishly, and I don't think that they know that they are. And that's, you don't want to, you know, you just cope as much as you can, but it's been hard. Um, I just feel like I've gotten, I've dealt with a lot and I've put a lot of things on the back burner for, and a lot of people on the back burner for things that I've wanted to do and no, I, I don't feel like I've gotten that respect back, and now I'm just kind of at my wit's end. Um, but I'm trying to pray about it and just hang in there. Um, work has been extremely hard on me for a lot of reasons. I just... I don't know. I probably can't even talk about that on here. I don't want to get in trouble. But for a lot of reasons, I am just having a really rough time. <sighs> With, like... I don't know. It's not what it used to be for me. And it's hard as well. Um, and then Ruth Bader Ginsburg died this week and Stevie Nicks wrote this journal entry about it, of course. And, uh, it's weird seeing your hero talk about their hero because I'm sure as a person, she doesn't realize that people feel the same way about her as she felt about her hero. If that makes sense. Um, cause it's probably, I, I couldn't imagine how hard it would be to absorb people saying like, oh my God, you know, like I, I admire you and I look up to you so much and you know, everything that you've said in your interviews and stuff has taught me how to get where I am today 
And I can't imagine somebody saying that to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I don't know if she can even absorb that. Um, on another note, I lost a friend to breast cancer this week. Um, and I just found out this morning that I'm not going to get to go say any kind of goodbyes to her. So the last time I saw her, uh, the last time I saw her is just it. That's just it. It's the last time. So that's, that's a real hard pill to swallow. A lot. <laughs> it just breaks me inside. And, uh, even though I didn't talk to her every day, or see her every day, and we mainly saw each other at parties, I'm really glad that last time we saw each other we videotaped it, because I have that memory forever, and that's amazing. And the last time I saw her, I got to tell her, alright, bye, I'll see you later. And I will. I'll see her later, eventually, someday, when it's my turn. Um, and I know that in my heart. So... And yesterday I had a diverticulosis episode, and I'm trying to clean my apartment, and <sighs> life has just been life, basically. So... Anyway, I just wanted to put this video out there. I'm going to try to record some more happy things before I end the video. But thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding why there's like a pause between videos and I'm not doing them as frequently. Sometimes as a human, I need to, you know, have time for me. And, uh... So thank you for continuing to watch my videos and everything like that. So I'm starting to get into like a five, six minute explanation. And that's just enough. You guys don't need to hear any more like you care to hear anymore. So <laughs> um, I will try to post more happy stuff. So I also just want to say this before we get back to the normal stuff. Two people this week have accused me basically of being a spoiled, favorited princess. Because all you see is when I walk in, I have a smile on my face. All you see is me laughing. It's called doing my job. And as far as the spoiled part, because of where I stayed, or what happened to me for a weekend. I deserved that. Under normal circumstances, I'm working two and three gigs at a time. So, before you open your mouth, before you think things that aren't true, you think I'm living a celebrity lifestyle because I went away for a weekend? Because we actually could? You think you would be like, you know what, I'm really happy for you. I think that's amazing. You really deserve it. But that's not what happened. Even the people you think love you most in the world are like, must be nice to live your life. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, cleaning my apartment, doing laundry in a portable washer, living in an apartment instead of a house like I want to, um, my friend dying, um, not getting to say goodbye, going to work and dealing with being accused of being a favorite, sitting behind a pillar all day, counting people going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. People yelling at you for things you don't have control of. The glamour, that's the most glamorous celebrity lifestyle I can even think of, guys. The most glamorous lifestyle ever. Give me a break. Be happy for me when good things happen to me like I am for you. Do yourself a favor. It's ridiculous.
That's it. Hey guys, the mail just came. I'm so excited. Um, I thought I was gonna get, like, some of the makeup I ordered today, but I guess it's probably gonna be tomorrow, maybe. Um, but my new bracelet just came in the mail! I'm so excited. I met this girl from another friend named Katie, and she does this, like, beading, woven beading thing. She made me, like, a Stevie Nicks bracelet. Like, legit fit to my wrist. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I'm so impressed. I'm in love with it. It's so dope. My new favorite bracelet. I love it. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that I did, in fact, get my tickets to the Stevie Nicks film, in case you're wondering, and you watch my channel and you know about my whole, like, I love her music thing. Excuse, like, Mount Rushmore again in my face. I think I said it on my video yesterday. I think I did anyway. Oh my god, every time. Um, so yeah. I did get my tickets. And I feel like October might actually be a decent month. So that's exciting. So, um, I'm getting ready, um, to go to a birthday. And I know you're like... COVID. I know. I know. But we're going to be really careful and I know that we all work public jobs. I just I don't know. But I know that we're going to this birthday but we're all going to be very careful. And there's only going to be four of us. So less than ten. Definitely less than ten. Um, we'll take precautions. I suck at eyebrows so much, guys. It's so off topic from what I was talking about, but I'm sitting here trying to do my eyebrows and I'm just like, this is not my forte. Did you guys hear that truck outside? I don't know if you could hear that, but that was loud. I'm gonna have to put powder over these, cause dang. This pen is not working for me today. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening tonight. I'm gonna film a little bit of it, probably not a lot. Because I just wanna enjoy my adopted brother's birthday. We're not literally adopted. <laughs> we don't have the same parents whatsoever. Um, what I mean is we are like soul brother and sister, basically, in a nutshell. Um, so <laughs> I've known Richie since I was like... 12 or 13 years old we went to school together and then he ended up marrying my best friend and he was like best friends with my husband and well before we were married and then we ended up getting Jess and I ended up getting married and you know so they're best friends their wives are best friends <laughs> So it just, it all really worked out and we became like such a family and it's, it's a pretty great thing. It's, it's a really good thing. So that's what's happening. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Reggie. Happy birthday to you. Okay, light your candles out real quick. Five stars. Five stars for us for singing it. Yay! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, oh, I have been filming since I got back from the Netherlands hotel. Um, and I have yet to post anything. 
I've just, I went back to work and that's just been drama and then, and like just, yeah. And then um, I'm running my makeup business. I haven't done the other thing that I haven't talked about. I haven't even been able to get caught up with that. And then music's just, like I said before, it's drama, but that's music anyway. And the whole COVID thing is killing stuff. And I don't know, like right now life is complicated. Everybody's frustrated. So everybody's on edge. Everybody's biting each other's heads off all, all over the place. Just, it's not even one thing. Like it's just so many things. And, uh, yeah, so I just keep trying and chugging along and being a little engine that could. And just like you guys, that's all I really can do. Um, I don't know. That's, that's kind of my life right now. And I guess I will post this and then I'm going to get something to eat and finish getting ready for work and go to work and I will film my next vlog after that.